Hello guys and welcome to the third devlog for this plastic, plastic project of mine. If you saw it before, you may have, or you will definitely have seen it without uh, shadows because there hasn't been shadows until these last couple of days. I've tried to work out some some good shading for shadows and it just doesn't it doesn't work that great. So here's here's where we're at. Uh, just so we can see, there are shadows and it is shadow map, but. There's this weird banding issue, and it's it doesn't look that great. But I think I'm about ready to say, screw it. We are these shadows are okay for now. Let's continue with something that isn't shadow related, because I'm sick of these shadows. Um, this is the main class of the of the project here. There are some other. There's a controller for the camera. There's some behavior and entities for those. Um, the cylinders that are walking around, but this is the main class and I'm I'm not in love with this. There's a lot of rendering specific code in here. Look at all that. It's look, it's ugly um, So let's clean it up a bit And we're back. This is now the main class I This is much better, right? Uh, World renderer now includes all of this uh, rendering specific code that was cluttering up the main class before so now we just have this to work with much better oh, we can remove all those unused ports now it's oh that's really nice we can maybe something maybe do something with this now great let's have a look at what it looks like and that is not exactly right something is wrong here better now look that aliasing just got a lot worse though these shadows there is not good let's see what we can do about these shadows real quick shall we let's just go be one 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 let's set them to two 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 and translate them one up so they're on top of the plane we make here for it all right let's go did that yeah that, that's a bit better i think it is great let's increase the size of the world a bit and let's move on Increase to a size 100 world, and we now have this entire space to work with. Great, great. Now, what I want to do is actually not um, more graphics. I want to do something else completely. I found this a deep learning for GA library. It looks really interesting. It can do uh, neural network and machine machine learning. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some actors that are controlled by neural networks with this uh, library, if we can uh, get that to work. Now it's always a bit daunting when you start up a new library. I haven't actually tried this before, so let's just uh, see if we can maybe follow the quick start here. This is everything. Hey, this is Hydrozoa from the editing room. The installation of this took a while, so I'm going to chop it up as much as I can. First things first, we're installing Maven, which is not actually as big of a deal as I thought it would be. Oh, this one, this dialogue actually got better uh, somewhere between Windows 7 and now. Hmm, interesting. This is much better. This used to be just a small window with a single text field. This is, this is much better. Thank you. Now, Maven should be installed on my system. Oh, and we can actually test that with a command here, mvn. There we go. That should tell us something about the Maven version. I patch Maven, great, it is installed. Okay, I need to go into the examples. Great, I'm here. Windows PowerShell, great. Let's do it. 
and we need to do an Maven clean install. Yes, it's working. I think while looking at this, that maybe we are changing the scope of this video. Maybe we're not gonna get it uh, to run an agent inside my 3D environment. Maybe we're just gonna see if we can get this DL4GA neural networks to run at all. Because right now it seems far, in the far future, that we actually get to run this in the environment. Hmm, perhaps you're running Hmm, no compiler is provided. Maybe you're running on a JRE? Hmm? Maybe we are running on a JRE. I don't know what we're running on, Jesus. After downloading the newest JDK and fixing my environmental variables, you know, the path variable and all that, I finally got it to work. So I'm just gonna skip all that. There's a lots of video footage of that. Let's just skip it. Oh, there we go. Build success. Great. Thank you. Finally. It was a success. We built the examples. Awesome. Now, what we do is we import project. We import it as a Maven project, this bit right here. How are we doing? Import a Maven thing. Maybe we want to an existing Maven project. Hmm? Yeah, I think that's it. Root directory. That's my downloads folder. <laughs> that's a bit silly. Downloads the ooh, there's not that one. Uh, let's see. DL4J examples master. GA examples. There we go. Add project to working set. Mm, I don't know. Maybe not. Resolve workspace projects. Mm. Alright, let's finish doing that and we got DL4J examples in as a project great as you can see it is now much later I've had some time to look at these DL4J examples and run a few of them this one is really interesting this is the one I want to show you this trains a neural network to produce an image uh, from a source image uh, so the interesting thing here is that uh, the neural network can be uh, looked at as a function that will just draw the image, right? Uh, there's nothing more going on in this video than this uh, neural network uh, processing and learning. You can watch that if you want. Otherwise, uh, I will see you next time. Please subscribe. It's getting really tough here on YouTube. Thank you and bye.